Hey there, YouTubers. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. We're back at it again. We've got a quick question from uh, Sherrod Patel. And Sherrod says, hey, um, had a question about a macro I'm working on. He's trying to do a VLOOKUP, but the file that he's trying to do a VLOOKUP on, the name changes every day. So that means that the workbook that he works with changes every day. So let's take a look at a macro that we can throw together, Alt F11 to get to the Visual Basic Editor. And we're going to go ahead, and this is a fresh workbook. All I did really is create the cell and make it yellow, but we're going to fill this cell A2 with the, uh, with the file that we're going to browse to. So we're going to go ahead and create a new module just so that we can place the macro in somewhere nice. So we're going to create a new sub procedure. A new procedure is going to be sub, and we will call it uh, browse for file simple enough and we'll trigger that with um, with the in the developer tab you can click on the macros or you can hit alt f8 back to alt f11 visual basic editor so in our procedure here browse for file we're going to start with um, application dot get now I always type application dot get when I want to look through these options here Sometimes you might want to use git save as file name. In this case, you want to use the git open file name. And that is going to create a browse window that allows you to select a file and it automatically will, will insert the path into the variable that you have. So in this case, we'll create a variable called my file and that's going to be equal to this git open file name. And I'm not going to use a filter right now. Uh, you can Google how to get those different filters. Um, meaning, if you only wanted to use an XLS X file type, or uh, or if you only wanted .pdf files, there's a certain syntax for that. But I'm going to hit comma and then comma again to go to the title field, and the title I'm going to put is uh, browse. Oops, browse for workbook because in this case the user um, is going to be browsing for a specific workbook. Pro close parentheses right here. So let's try that uh, with that far. So let's put a stop here, which is the uh, same as putting a breakpoint like this. I'm going to put the word stop. In. So we're going to hit F8. We're going to hit F8 one more time to get to the, we're about to run the yellow line here. So we're, let's go ahead and hit F8. And this opens up the browse uh, uh, get open file name dialog box. So again, we're not opening one of these files. We're merely trapping the file path, which is C users, uh, Daniel C documents, etc. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll just go down and grab any old file name. Let's pretend that this uh, particular file here, I'm going to hit open. Again, we're not opening the file. If you see me hover my mouse over the word my file, the value is C, users, Daniel C, documents, blah, 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 blah. So um, you could you could use that uh, file name. And we're gonna, what we're, what we're going to do right now is we're simply going to trap that into cell A2. And it will actually be done. So we're going to say um, this workbook dot sheets. And this is sheet one. Oop. Dot range, and we want to range A2. So that equals my file. So when we run this procedure, I'll take this out. Let's go ahead and run it from the top. I'm going to hit the stop button. So you can run it from here. Uh, we'll be more a little more realistic in a real scenario. You would probably hit Alt F8, or you go to the developer tab and click on macros and select the one called browse for file. So you can do that by Alt F8, same deal. Let's double click on our macro. So whoop, this is the file I want. I know that's a PDF, but we're just pretending, right? So you click on that and voila, the entire file path has just been plugged in as if it was typed into cell A2. And so you may be able to uh, work with that using for a VLOOKUP. You may also want to trap that workbook or open that workbook or that file. You could do that using a shell command, or you could just, uh, if you if it's a workbook, then you could um, do workbooks. Well, let me go ahead and show you. So uh, to open, let's say we're going to open a workbook. You could do the uh, workbooks dot open method, 
and so I'm going to hit space and the file name as a string we already have it's in this it's contained within the variable my file then the all of all the other fields I'm not going to mess with with the read only status or a password that it would automatically open with no I don't need any of that right now you may need them for your scenario but I don't need anything else so let's try this so we're gonna hit F8 we're gonna grab a file name let's say we're going to grab a I have a good one on my desktop called test there you are so let's open that one so oh wow it opened so if you don't put a breakpoint after a get application get open file name sometimes it'll just go ahead and zoom on through even though you're debugging and uh, breaking through so um, so yeah it opened up the test.xlsx so if you needed to open one other than to just create a formula that pings off another workbook that is how to do that so uh, I hope this helped you and uh, thanks for watching be sure to click like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next video thanks